from WMAR 2 News, Maryland's most accurate forecast. Well, after temperatures in the low 60s today, which some folks actually only hung out in the upper 50s, it's going to be nice to see unseasonably warm temperatures return. Good afternoon. To, if you're off to maybe sit out on the back uh, patio with a nice glass of lemonade or some sweet tea. Unfortunately, our uh, nice weather pattern will only last for 24 hours as we're watching a cold front that's going to bring some instability our way. Showers and thunderstorms on tap for your Wednesday, some of which could be strong to severe and then cooler air filters in behind that. We stay dry for the the rest of the work week, but then a rain chance returns just in time to put a damper on your weekend. But let's get through the next 24 hours and focus on the good. And that's going to uh, essentially include high pressure traveling to the south of us, southerly flow into the region, sunny skies and unseasonably warm numbers. You can see that cold front will slowly start to get closer to the state, but it doesn't quite slide through until all Wednesday, which is where we're expecting some of those stronger uh, showers and thunderstorms. I think we could see some rain in portions of Western Maryland late tomorrow evening, but our viewers are expected to stay dry. So grabbing some breakfast tomorrow morning, a nice donut, 53 degrees before you get into the office, warming into the 60s just in time for lunch. We're at 68 degrees when you're taking your break. Really going to be picture perfect whether you're going for a nice walk or stepping out to grab some food. Lots of sunshine warming to 74 degrees. Winds out of the southwest, roughly 5 to 10 miles per hour throughout most of the afternoon. The one flaw in the forecast is going to be the pollen on a nice spring day like this. We expect those pollen counts to be high, and that's where we're going to be. Same tree allergens we've been dealing with for the last few days. Taco Tuesday forecast tomorrow evening is nice. We're at 70 when you're off work, slowly dropping into the lower 60s through the 10 o'clock hour. Working third shift, we're falling into the upper 50s. Now we are looking at that level one risk out of five for strong to severe thunderstorms. And that's including everybody that is under this green shading. Our primary concern is going to be damaging wind. There could be some isolated pockets of heavy rain, but the precipitable water values aren't that high. So we're not concerned about flooding, but Watching the afternoon hours, 11 a.m. to about 4 p.m. That's where we're expecting some of those stronger storms to start to arrive. So early morning sprinkles, walking low 50s, mid 50s for the morning drive. As we get closer to the 11 o'clock hour, we're already starting to see that cohesive line pushing into western Maryland. Doesn't really get agitated until the afternoon, which is why that risk essentially starts for the westernmost part of our viewing area, stretching to the east. That energy all starts to clear out by 4, and then we're cooling into the upper 30s, mid to upper 30s for your Thursday morning. 35 degrees, struggling to get into the mid 50s. Going to be breezy for Thursday, so that's going to feel chilly. Seasonal for Friday as we head into the weekend. Clouds build on Saturday, better rain chance on Sunday. 67 and sunny on Monday.